Hello everyone and welcome back to Create Island. Last episode we built a 1 million block storage system and also a create powered tree farm which now uh yeah I'm tearing it down because also last episode Froggy built this awesome greenhouse that's automatically given us all sorts of things including a lot of wood. So yeah this thing is useless now. But today we're going to be completely transforming this little island into an actual working airport complete with a runway, create powered plane hangers and some other cool stuff too. And not only that, we go and visit Mr. Beardstone on his perfect world and get our first mystery visitor to the island. Now between episodes, I have been doing quite a lot of work. I took a trip over to the Mesa biome so I could collect up a whole ton of terracotta. Yep, we're going to be needing quite a lot of this stuff today. I tidied up around the base a bit, just adding a few more parts and stuff. And also I started planning out the airport island and making some spots where some of the builds are going to go. But I suppose we should talk about why we want to make an airport. I mean, this is probably pretty obvious. Um, I want to make some aeroplanes. And as you can see, this one says, make sure your runway is long enough. Make sure your runway is long enough. We don't even have a runway at all. So yeah, that's the reason that we're going to be making an airport over there. But not only that, there's all sorts of upgrades we can add to the aeroplanes. So we'll definitely look at that a little bit later on. But as you can see in the storage system, I got all the terracotta here. There's like 6,000. And I also made a whole bunch of cyan dye, which is all thanks to Froggy's greenhouse. But with that, we can make some cyan terracotta. And I think this stuff is going to be so good for building up the runway. So let's actually grab a little bit of that. And then I'm also going to want a white block as well. I mean, can I take a little bit of Froggy's calcite? Is she really going to notice? Eh, what's she going to do about it? But I think these are the blocks I actually want to use to build the runway, which I think is the smartest thing to work on first over there. But I am wondering, would any of this look cool in a chipped table? I mean, something with a bit of texture would be nice. I don't really want like a bricky texture. Eh, you know what? I'm not really sure about that. Oh, this calcite though. Eroded calcite. I actually might take a little bit of that instead. But I think it's about time we slap down our airship and fly over to the airport island. Oh boy, we've got a lot of work to do over there. Right, let's land this thing in one of these squares here. Because this is actually where the aeroplane hangars are going to be. We're going to have like big doors in the front here. And those things are going to be awesome. Just you wait for that. But I think this big flat stretch here, this is probably where a runway should go, right? And as you can see, this is going to take quite a lot of terracotta. Because this thing's going to need to be pretty long. I mean, there's a stack gone already. Oh, yep, yeah, we're at the end. All right, so that's probably long enough over this way. Should probably have a quick sleep. This island is definitely not lit up. But we need to come back this way a little bit more, I think. I want us to stretch like the entire island pretty much. Yeah, something like that should be pretty good. I mean, this could probably be slightly wider as well. Of course, we were like sand and like weird terrain around the runway, but we'll definitely get that fixed up at some point. I think we'll just get the runway filled in first. But now we've got our general size. Just let me place a whole bunch of this terracotta in a quick time lapse. All right, base of the runway is in. Did end up making it a little bit longer on each side. It's looking a little bit short and stumpy, so we have a little bit of terrain work to do on the edge here. But we'll get to that a little bit later. I think now, though, we're going to start using our calcite blocks and take some inspiration from an actual real-life runway. Now, this thing obviously isn't going to be 100% accurate because, well, this is Minecraft and we're just flying pretend planes. But I think we can get some pretty good build inspiration. Now, looking at images, they do have, like, a white outline around the edge. So we'll get stuff in like this. So it looks like they kind of have lines at the end as well. So how would this look? Oh, that actually works out so perfectly. Okay, I can't pretend that I actually did that on purpose because uh, that's definitely a happy accident. So let's quickly just get these filled in. I might just use the normal calcite for this just to mix up the texture. It looks a little bit more worn out than the texture we have on the edge, which I suppose would kind of make sense. Now I'm looking at a reference image here and they kind of have like letters and numbers scattered around. I guess that kind of displays what runway it is. I mean, we're only going to have one runway, so let's try and make like a big also, we're going to bury this into the ground, but I just kind of want to get the design worked out. I'm going to do like a B1. Now, this is seven blocks wide. We kind of need it to be eight. So let's put a gap of two. And then it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, right. That's the design. We just need to sink it into the ground and just get it actually centralized. Oh, uh, yeah, there it is. Oh, this is actually pretty cool, you know. Right. One last thing that I'm seeing on runways is actually some lines that run up through the middle. So I think we'll do that as well. How is that sort of thing looking? Yeah, I think that's pretty good. It's well 
four blocks long with a gap of three. Nice and easy. Then I think at the end here, of course, we're going to have our outline going all the way around the edge. So we'll just get this put in. But also we're going to put in our little lines that we have at the end of the runway too, which I think they're like this with just a gap of one. Yes, that's it. So yeah, let me just get these white lines finished off and I'll be right back. And just like that, all the runway lines are in. I think what I may do is come in and texture some of this cyan terracotta. Try throwing like a few cracks or something. Make it actually look like the runway is being used. But speaking of using the runway, I do want to try and make one of these biplanes just to check that this thing is actually long enough. Now, this should be pretty easy to craft. Just need three of these. And I also need an engine. Yeah, I'm just so glad I made the storage system. Doing this sort of thing is just so much easier now. Now we can make the biplane. Yo, let's go. All right, let's grab a little bit of fuel. So I'm pretty sure this thing's going to need it. Get out of the way, little plane. Your old news. All right, let's see what this thing actually looks like, though. Oh, look at that. Yo, it's like a proper aeroplane and everything. Oh, well, it's got like the propeller, the engine, the little boat that we sit in. All right, but let's give this thing a go. We need to chuck our fuel in here. And this is where we have all our upgrade slots. We're going to get onto that a little bit later. Then we can actually make this thing go faster, give it some weapons and stuff. But here we go. We are going forward. Engine's running. It's picking up speed. Can we go up? Uh, I think I was pressing the wrong button. Okay, uh, get me out of this thing. Okay, take two. Here we go. Picking up speed. Oh, we're going up. We're going up. It is long enough. Okay, this thing's pretty hard to fly. But wait, I'm not actually pressing any buttons. It's just going. Yo, okay. So I just have to turn. This is so good. All right, this thing is actually a little bit more difficult to fly than the other planes. I'm probably just not used to it. Oh, we got company. Okay, we don't have weapons to take those guys out yet. So um, can't believe we've got intruders at the airport already. Let's try land this thing. Shift to slow down. Yes. Right, gentlemen. This um airport isn't actually open for business yet. So I am going to have to ask you to leave, please. Goodbye. And you're probably going to cause a little bit of trouble. So let's just try to put you down here, maybe. Yeah. Sorry about that. You just have to uh, live in a broken runway for a little bit. Okay, bye. Oh, I've got an achievement. Lovely. Right, one more thing for the runway that I want to do together. Let's actually put in some light. Now, Frog has been making these street lamp posts. We've got a load of the double ones, but I think I just want to use these single ones. And I'm thinking, what if we have these running down the side of the runway? Something like that. Could be pretty good. I mean, we could go redstone torches as well, but I don't know. I feel like these look a little bit cooler. Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. So I think I'm going to go away, get all those lanterns put in. As you can see, they're pretty easy to make. Just a lantern, a fence and a wall. But what I also want to do is make up a whole bunch of coarse dirt as well and actually just start lining the edge of this island here, just leading right up to the runway. Because looking at images of airports, runways just seem to be like in the middle of a field. But I don't really want to use grass blocks here. Mainly because we're probably going to have grass over that side. So I kind of want this to look a little bit more sort of like built up and industrial. But one thing that we can come and do is grab a pair of shears and just grab a little bit of this grass. Oh, and also maybe some stone buttons as well. And just sort of randomly spread this about the coarse dirt. Makes it feel a little bit more fieldy. Bit of grass, a few stones. And yeah, we just have this going all the way around the edge of the runway. Well, on this side at least anyway. All right, so this course dirt has made a massive improvement to our runway. Really liking the way this is starting to look. But you also see here that I spent a little bit more time laying out some terracotta. And I think this is where roads are going to go. And I mainly did this just so I can figure out where to put more buildings. So I want something in this area over here, something over here, and some more stuff back there. But I think now is the point that I want to start working on some aeroplane hangers, which is going to be these two squares here. And I think just like before, I want to use some terracotta to build those. But this time I want it to be green and probably lime. What the heck is that? Welcome to Minecraft, the fixing tools update. Oh, mending. Oh, Froggy's been busy. And salad. Um, I tell you what, I want to use this thing anyway. If she asks, just say that I ate my salad. But you'll see here, I've got a bunch of cactus in my inventory. All thanks to Froggy's greenhouse. And I've also made one of these sort of create cooker thingies. It's just an encased fan and some lava. And then whatever I throw in here should get cooked. So I throw all this cactus in. This should turn into green dye. Just got to wait a little second. Oh, there we go. All green dye, please. Very good. But let's actually also make a little bit of white dye so that we can make a little bit of lime as well, which means we can make a whole bunch of lime terracotta and let's get a bunch of green as well. And I'm also going to want some deep slate. So I'm thinking that we use these darker blocks as sort of pillars and fill in the gaps with this lime terracotta. And then we'll make the roof out of deep slate. Of course, this is going to be a different shape and a whole lot taller, but I think those colors are going to work pretty good together. What I'll probably do is play around in the chips table as well. Maybe try to add a little bit of texture to those blocks. But also we're going to leave a gap here at the front where we're going to 
make a door using the create mod. So basically just like a giant oversized door so we can drive our planes in and out of the hangars. But before we move on to the create stuff, I think I'm just going to get the actual hangars built up. Yeah, I think that's probably the best thing to do. And I'll probably get mending on some of my tools as well. I've got quite a few broken tools here. So yeah, I'm going to do that and then we'll start building the hangars. Okay, the aeroplane hangers are in. Really happy with how these things came out, though. We, of course, still have like a lot of decorating and stuff to do. Not to mention sorting out the insides. But before we do any of that, I want to start working on the create powered doors. I've gone ahead and crafted up the things that we're going to need to do that. A lot of these we have crafted up before, but this sequence gear shift is a new thing, which is brass casing, an electron tube, and a cogwheel. And then also these redstone links. Just a brass casing and a redstone torch. Pretty simple. And these things sort of act like wireless redstone. Now, I am sort of following a tutorial for this just slightly adapting their design. So I'm going to leave a link to that in the description. But I think we may as well try and build this together. Though the tutorial is probably going to do it a lot better than I will. So we're going to start off here with our radial chassis. They go there like that. And then we use our slime balls to make this side sticky. And this is the thing that's actually going to rotate the door, I think. And the door is going to be made out of these blocks, which is actually just grey concrete. And I put that in the chip table to get this sort of, I don't know, kind of industrial looking block. I think it looks pretty cool. But with this, I think we take our wrench. And we see here as an A on it. We actually want this to be four. They're thinking about it. Is this where I need to put down my mechanical bearing now? Did I make this four? Now are they all four? No. You know what? I might have done this wrong. Let's try placing these in now. Make it four. No, maybe I do actually just need to do it with all of them. Anyway, we're about to find out if this is working or not. We need to place our sequence gear shift there. And this is how you can basically just make like a redstone sequence. So if it gets powered, it's going to turn 90 degrees. Then I want to delay, let's say 20 seconds, then turn again. But we wanted to turn back the other way and then end. Now all we got to do is just hook this thing up to some power and i think we're just gonna use a water wheel for this keep it nice and simple so we'll slap this in some water we'll get a wireless redstone thingy on there and we need to give this a code which is gonna be two of this lime terracotta and then i think we shift right click it yes and let's just say that we have a switch here for instance we'll get a redstone link put in our code slap a button on and hopefully when i press this the door should open oh Okay, well, it did actually turn. I have now realized that I forgot to slime up these things. So um, let's actually just get rid of these. This thing should turn back around again in a second. There we go. Okay, that's the sequence ended. Let's actually just slime these up again and put our door blocks back. Are these still four? Yes. Right, let's try pressing the button again. Hopefully the door will move this time. Yes. Okay, that is actually working. The door did open, but I actually want the door to open outwards. It doesn't really make sense that the door would open into the building, right? So let's just quickly wait for this sequence to end. There we go. And this should be a pretty simple fix. We just come into our sequence thingy. We just need to change this to go that way, and then this one to go that way. Now this door should open outwards, please. Yes. Look at that. Yo, I do kind of low-key feel like a genius right now, even though I just followed a tutorial. But yeah, I just got to do this door a few more times now. Just got to get this side of the door built and then repeat the same thing over on this airport hanger here. But once that's done, I'll probably do a little bit of tidying up around this place as well. Maybe get this bit filled in with the floor, throw some barrels and storage stuff around, a little bit of decoration. But yeah, I'll get that done and I'll be right back. And here we are. All the doors are in and working now. You might see I've been doing a little bit of work out the front as well. Kind of just tidied up outside of the hangers these cool grey concrete things. This was using the chip mod, but it's kind of like a little warning kind of thing. Got it run along the front of the hangers as well. Found a permanent spot for the switches, which is just going to be here. And if I press the button, yes. You can see I've also decorated the inside as well. Got some more of this concrete. Got some of these street lamps. Put these stair things. We've got some storage hanging down from the roof. And yeah, this thing's looking pretty good. Also got this hanger as well, which is just much the same as the other one. And I tied you that in between. Got these cool iron fences. And then it's just some sort of like overgrown stuff storage type thing. Not really sure if you have that at an airport, but I don't know. It does look pretty. Now, also over here, I've made this big retaining wall. And you may notice we've got some floating blocks up there. And that's because I spent a whole bunch more time terraforming the island. There is, of course, going to be a little bit more to do, but I think it should give us enough space for our next phase of building. And that's actually going to be an airport control tower, which is going to sit in this area here. And then over in this direction, I think I want to make an airport terminal, which is, you know, where passengers can come in to catch their flight, head through security, maybe grab a snack. You know, the place that you actually go to when you go to the airport. And I've just got this random parkour course. This is kind of where the road's meant to go. Is that even doable? Come on. 
I don't think it's doable. But yeah, the road's probably going to end up changing a little bit, I think. Because I'm not too sure how big this terminal is going to be. So I think we'll leave the road plan there for now. And I think we're going to work on the airport control tower. Now, I want this thing to be reasonably high. Mainly because I want to make an elevator with Create. That way we've got a cool way to get up and down. And we're also going to need someone to control the airport. So we'll have to find someone to do that job. Ooh, maybe you. But yeah, just like we did with the hangars, we'll build up the structure first. And then we can add all the cool Create stuff afterwards. But I kind of need to repair my shovel again. And craft up a few materials to actually make the tower. So once again, I'll get that done and we'll kick it into another time lapse. So many time lapses. All right, the tower is in, and this thing is looking so good. Remember with a lot of concrete and deep slate this time, which honestly, not too bad to collect. We had loads of sand from digging out this island, and of course, gravel is pretty easy to collect from the ocean floor. And we have unlimited dyes from Froggy's greenhouse, so I thought I'd make the most out using some concrete. Also got some of these cool textures from the chipped bench. And yeah, this thing's looking pretty good, right? Now, of course, we are going to have an elevator in here, and thankfully, I crafted all the resources that we're going to need to do it. I mean, all of this pretty easy stuff to do. Are these red stone links we've already crafted these today but the hardest thing to do this rotation speed controller which brass casing that's easy but this precision mechanism oh my this was slightly confusing after a little bit of fiddling and some failed attempts i did actually manage to craft one so i've unlocked a new create skill those rotation speed thingies are going to be pretty good but not only did i build a tower and craft those components i also went ahead and spent some time flattening out the rest of the island and seeing as i was already in a building mindset i just went ahead and built up the terminal as well and this thing's turned up pretty cool. Still quite a lot left to do to this thing. Of course, it's going to need quite a few details and stuff, and also an interior, because this is looking pretty empty. Not to mention all this blank space as well that we've still got left to fill. Still quite a few building time lapses to do today. But before we move on to any building, I want to try and get this elevator put in, which is probably going to be a little bit complicated. I'm not really the best with Create yet, but I think I can make this work. I watched a little tutorial, so I have a rough idea of how this thing's going to go. We're going to get some linear chassis put down here, just like that in a 3x3, three three, and this is the thing that's actually going to go up and down. And then we can have one like this, which I need to put a slime ball on. Of course, there's always one thing that I forget to bring with me. Oh, okay. Elevator's not ready yet. I'm very sorry. But anyway, we put a slime on here and then the linear chassis back there. And this is the thing that's actually going to connect all of these together. But what we need to do is make this say three. Otherwise, it's going to try and lift up like the entire floor and that would not go well. And now we need to head up to the top floor. And this is where our rope pulley is going to go. We'll have a gear shift there. And this is the thing that we're going to send a redstone signal to, to tell this rope pulley to go up and down. You know what? I'm probably going to need to move this staircase somewhere else. We'll get to that in a little bit though. But here's where we're going to have our speed controller and we'll have this toggle power latch. I'm trying to act like I know what I'm doing. And a wireless redstone thingy there. It's going to give this thing a code. Shift right click it so it can receive a signal. Right, a redstone link there with the same code. And we'll give him a button. We need to do the same thing downstairs. And then just hook this speed controller up to power. And to do that, I'm actually going to use these windmill blocks. Because I think that should look pretty cool on the tower. So just give me a second to do that. Okay, this should work now, I think. Yes. Oh, it's turning. Oh, this is good. Still a bit of tidying up to do here, but that's all right. Right, we should be able to change this speed controller. Just need to be able to actually access it. Oh, there we go. Let's make this like 64. All oh, the rope's going down, but we got blocks in the way. Let's just break these. Um, Hello. The rope isn't moving anymore. I mean, for those that are confused following this, I am going to leave a link to the tutorial in the description. I mean, if you're playing along, this probably is not helpful whatsoever. But let's try replacing this thing. Oh, yeah, it's going down. Yo, will it connect? Yes. Now, if I press this button, the elevator should come up. Oh my god, it's happening. It's actually working. Oh, yes. Okay, again, a lot of tidying up to do here, but I mean, this thing is actually working, right? Yes. I mean, now we can walk in, step on the elevator, hit this button, take it all the way up to the top. Yes. All right, I just need to put my staircase over on this side instead now, because it can't really go there anymore. I mean, that's an easy fix. Look at that. Good as new. And yeah, this tower's pretty close to done. I do want to get some decoration up here. And of course, I need to tidy up this mess and probably decorate this elevator shaft too. So just give me a second and I'll be right back. And just like that, I'm back. And oh my, I have been super busy over here. I mean, you're probably seeing already. Oh yeah. 
Blocky Airlines. I've actually gone ahead and got some real branding on the airport now, all thanks to this thing from Immersive Paintings. Now, these are really easy to craft, just a bit of dye and eight paper. And these things are so awesome. They actually allow you to import your own images into the game. So if I just place one down here and then right click it, you got some of these that you can pick from, but you can also upload your own images. And as you can see, I've made a whole bunch of graphics here. But yep, here's the Blocky Airlines one. Fly like a moron. And I've taught a few of these around the airport. And I've got quite a few more inside there. Once again, I've got carried away building. But as you can see here, I've decorated up the elevator shaft. We'll just take it up to the top. And I've sort of tidied up this area as well. There's only so much I could do here because I need to leave this stuff exposed and also the button. But I think it looks tidy enough. But if we head upstairs, I've done a little bit of decoration here. These are all some different furniture blocks from the cluttered mod. So you've got a table, a desk, some more sort of desk things this cupboard, some cardboard boxes. And we've also got this sheep who's actually going to be our flight controller. Let's maybe ignore the fact that he's just stuck in a table. I'm sure we'll do a great job. But yeah, we've got a nice view out here. Our little sheep controller should be able to see the aeroplanes flying in. Who knows? We might end up getting a visitor. Uh, who am I kidding? Probably not. But there's always a chance. But let's take a step back down now and let's go check out the airport terminal. I may or may not have got a little bit carried away in here. Spoiler, I did. But over here is going to be our front entrance. And as you can see, we've got our branding up there. We've got some cool lights. And if we take a little step inside. Here's the main terminal hall. Over here, you can buy some tickets from this sheep who, um, yep, they've not really done a great job so far. But over this way, we have departures. You can come over here, check when your flight is. Oh, that is actually a shame. My flight to Madrid is delayed. Oh, they're all delayed and cancelled. Hang on a minute. Who's running this airport? Oh, right. Yeah, um, it, it's me. I'm I'm the pilot and well, I can't really do flights if I'm still building the airport. So delayed, cancelled. I'm sure it will come good eventually. But over here, we've got some passport control. Yes, you want to see my passport? Yep, he thinks it's good. And also, I used the create belts here to sort of put your luggage on. I don't know, I thought it was a cool detail. Got some chests down there ready to be loaded onto the aeroplanes. But anyway, carrying on, we got a security thing here. So we just got to pop through and hope for a ding. Oh, yep, yeah, we're good. No metal detected. And then have a nice flight. So this is where we leave to hop onto the aeroplane, which right now we just got a blank bit of grass and uh, that's about it. So that means next big job is sorting out all this empty space. And I think for the most part, I kind of want to add some more roads, like I said before. Get rid of all the grass, replace it with this coaster. Get some more branding around some of these cardboard boxes, which are actually really cheap. Literally just made out of paper. I guess that kind of does make sense. But yeah, maybe get some more spots like this. You can see we've got quite a lot of space to fill, but I mean, it's not really that much. A couple of things I might add though is maybe a helicopter landing pad over here, just so we've got a nice space to land our airships. And I might try and do some sort of car park out the front here. Maybe build a couple of silly cars. Yeah, I think that could be a cool idea. But if I'm going to do that, I'm probably going to need some more cyan terracotta. And the cyan's not really an issue, but yeah, I've used most of our terracotta. I think we had about 6,000 of that originally. So I'm going to take another trip over to the Mesa. Didn't really think I was going to be doing that this episode, but uh, here we are. Just grab some more potatoes. Uh, maybe we'll repair my pickaxe as well. But yeah, I still got a whole load more work to do. So I think we're going to kick it into another time lapse. And then once I've made a bit of progress, we can talk about what I've done. Oh, look at that. It's looking so good. OK, time lapse. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can anyone else hear that noise? It sounds like a siren. What the heck? Hang on a minute. Is that coming from the tower? Oh boy, what is happening? That sheep better not have broken anything. Hello? Sheep? What is that siren? It's literally, it's so loud. Huh? Mr. B's in trouble. He's in danger. Um, you want me to go and rescue him? Are you crazy? Right, it could be dangerous. Um, oh man, this is really not what I expected to have to do today. Oh, but I can't leave Mr. B in trouble. Right, it could be dangerous, so... Right, just give me a chest. Because if this is going to be dangerous, I don't really want to lose my stuff. Especially my armor. So let's leave that there. And let's go rescue Mr. B. Right, hop in the aeroplane. Or oh, the actual airport is getting some real use now. All right, line this up with a runway. Okay, start the engines. Here we go. I'm coming, Mr. B. I'm coming. Um, yeah, that was totally part of the plan. Maybe spikes at the end of the runway wasn't the best idea. Oh, geez, first death on this world as well. Right, we don't have time to lose. Just get in this thing. Oh, I have no idea how far away this place is, but, but we've got to save him. No, I shouldn't park the plane too close because we don't really know what we're running into. Oh, geez, see you at Mr. B's. But after a long journey, I made it to Mr. B's Create World, where I just had to sort of sit around and wait to catch a train and then ride it all the way over to Mr. B's location. Oh... 
God, what a journey. Well, 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 if it isn't the Iron Trout. Well, uh, you called? Yeah, I, I did. Right, I've got you some goodies. Oh, um, what the heck? I've, I, I've got a bit of a... Oh, wait a second, let me give you the whole stacks of those instead of one at a time, otherwise that'll take forever. But I, I've got a bit of a, a, a pest problem. So, obviously, my, my go-to for a solution was to find the biggest pest I know. Um, but yeah, I've, I've got an issue, and I'm hoping you can help with your expert skills of killing and hunting things. Yeah, I mean, I consider myself strong, brave, noble, reliable. Um, uh-huh. I mean, what more could you ask for? Yeah, right, okay. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Do you want me to show you what the problem is? Yeah, I mean, I'm not too worried about what it is. It could literally be anything, but... Uh... Oh, it's um, it's it's a doozy. It's a doozy. Follow me. Have you, have you got your... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. I'm so if you come over... Can fly. Well, basically, if you come over this way a little bit, you'll see there's a few a few bees. Bees? Around. Bees. A few? Uh, yeah, if... Uh, it get, Come this way. Keep, keep going this way. Uh, uh, you said a few. I can see a, a, a few hundred. Yeah, I don't know where it ends. Um, um, over here, maybe? I think this looks like the far side. So you want help taking out hundreds of bees? Yes. Yeah, it seemed like the sort of thing you'd enjoy. Oh! Um, yep. And the good thing is, if you get them in one, they don't get angry. Oh, oh I didn't well, get it in one. Well, it? Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Oh, oh. oh, I'm actually flying! Oh, jeez. Probably should have brought both myself. Oop, sorry. I mean, the good thing is the ones that are hitting me are also dying, right? Oop. Ow. <laughs> not That's not trying. what I brought you I'm here for. trying to do it. Right. No, this is, going, this is going fine. I'm just showing you why you called me. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I am actually very impressed with, with your efforts so far. Um, only another few hundred to go. Yeah, montage? Montage. Well then, Iron Trout, I think that's a successful mission. Um, I, I have a lot of bee heads in my inventory. Yeah, me too. I mean, yeah, take these too, two. Too, too, too many, some might say. Too many. In fact, how many bees did I actually kill then? Bees. I've killed 108 bees. 108 bees? I yeah. have killed 86 bees and one creeper and one so skeleton. That's all, so that's almost 200... Lockdown. There's a bee in the... I just, I just saw it fly past the window. Oh. Well, one more bee to the collection. Yep, I would say another bee head, but I think it got picked up by that. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Marvelous. Um, well, thank you very much for your help. It's, oh, you're it's, so welcome. It, I mean, I would, I, I would, I'm not going to say it was a lot of fun, but it was a lot of fun. Thanks for, uh, thanks for your help. And hopefully, that's going to help my frame rate around here a little bit. It probably won't, but I mean, there is a lot going on here. I'll be real. Yeah, yeah, there is, there is. Um, anyway, we probably shouldn't stand in the middle of the road because. Um... Whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you yeah. need some, like, pavements around here? Nah, it's an industrial area. I didn't bother. Right. It's fine. I was like, we don't need no pavements. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'll consider pavements. I got fully jump scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, this has been lovely. I mean, I've killed a bunch of bees and now got hit by a truck. So, um... I'll tell you what, though. As a reward, your favourite thing... <gasps> Fishing rods? Oh, yes. I mean, I'd love to sit here and fish, but I do really need to get home. So, probably just going to catch a train and. Um, All right then. Yeah, well, yeah, I'll see you, you later. Are, yeah. See ya. Cheers. All right, I'll just find the station on my own. Oh, yeah, it's fine. It's down that way. Just follow the rail tracks. Yeah. Okay, bye. What a hero. All right, back to the building time lapse. <laughs> And here we are. I think the airport might just be about finished. Now, I don't know how many times I said this today, but I have got a little bit carried away with the detailing. You may notice a few more changes around this section. I managed to craft some of these suitcases from the chipped mod. The same mod for the cardboard boxes. And isn't this just a perfect little detail to have in the airport? Oh, it's so good. Another thing that I've decorated with is these blocks. And these are the shipping container blocks from the Create Deco mod. I mean, I think this makes sense for an airport build. I mean, maybe it would be a better fit for like a shipping dock 
rock or something industrial like that. But I mean, either way, it adds like a nice splash of color and stuff. But heading up this way, you're going to see a lot more details now. We've got the roads in. I got some signposts. Man, these things are so awesome. They're literally just iron sheets and a stone cutter. And there's all sorts of things you can do with those. But yeah, I got the control tower all fully hooked up to the road now. And in this way, even though it says no entry, we're staff, we can go in. I've got another little shipping container section. A few cardboard boxes, a few barrels, a few chests. And this is just stuff ready to be flown out to a different destination or something like that. And over this side, we've got another similar thing. Just a bit of a space filler. But these shipping containers, they just look so cool. I really had to stop myself from placing too many. But yeah, over in this section, we've got a nice little luggage carrier thing. So you can see here, we've got the truck, which is towing this trailer filled with a bunch of chests and suitcases. Looking pretty cool, looking pretty cool. I also added some no entry signs onto the back of the terminal because this is sort of meant to be the place that you leave from, not the place you go in. And I know Froggy's easily confused. But yeah, I've got another luggage carrying truck here. Guess this is coming back to pick up more luggage even though it's full of luggage. Anyway, over here, I made a helicopter pad. Not really too much to say about this. It's a helicopter pad. And then over here, I made a car park. Got a few different cars in here. I mean, they're all the same shape, but they're different colors. I know you can actually make like moving cars in Create, but that's a little bit beyond my skill level at the moment. But who knows? Maybe we can come back and revisit this. Try and get some of these cars moving. Maybe some of these trucks. But I think for now, this place is looking so, so good. You know what? We should definitely go and see what the sheep conductor thinks of it. Peep conductor, flight controller. The sheep, you know who I mean. Oh, Oh, sheep, how you doing, buddy? What do you think of the new place? Excuse me? Incoming visitor. What? We got a visitor coming to the island. No way. Wait, where are they? I can't see them. You know what? I'm getting froggy online. Oh, God. What if it's someone that stinks? Ugh. Yo, Blocky? Froggy? Hey, I got your message. Yeah, the uh, airport controller sheep said... Uh, we're getting an incoming visitor. Are you expecting anyone? No, I can't even think of anyone who would know where to find us. We'd be able to see them from here, right? Sheep, where are they? Oh, wait, he's facing this way. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, wait, wait, I see them. Oh, there's actually an airship coming in. Wait, I can't see who's driving it. Who is that? I don't know. Probably stinky, though. Yeah, probably. Oh, are they landing at the helicopter pad? We should go down there. Yeah, let's go down. Hang oh, on I a minute. Who is. Oh, wait, they got off. Oh, my gosh. Who oh, is that? Oh, you're not going to believe that. You are not going to believe this. No way. Hey guys. Oh. What are you doing here? Who Just thought I'd come visit. I, I got some cool coupons in the mail for some place called McDrifts, and I was like, I can't pass up an opportunity with a coupon, you know? Wait, what the heck is McDrifts? Um, you guys I haven't seen the billboards? Oh. Oh. Hey. It's a new burger shop opening on the island. Does that person look familiar? Not really. I don't think so. Mm, no. No, I don't know who they are. I probably wouldn't overthink it, though. Probably get you through security. That way you can go enjoy your burgers. Yeah, oh, yeah. sure. Welcome sure, to sure, the sure. airport. Um, oh, yeah. Nice. If you need a snack as well, you can uh, grab one. Uh oh, hamburgers. I mean, I have coupons for these, but I mean. Whoa, whoa, whoa. One, one per customer, please. Oh, sorry. Um, Here. Yeah, I'll take those. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. on the floor. That'll really. That's great. Passport control right here. OK, and Michael and I will be assisting you today. So can I see your passport? Sure thing. All right, let me read this really quickly. Okay, name Infinite Drift. Yep, that checks out. And reason for visit, you wrote Burgies? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, can you um set your luggage here on the belt? Sure. All right. Well, Michael, this, uh, this all looks in order. How's the luggage looking? Oh, oh, no. You're kidding. What's wrong? Um, Drift, it does appear that you were traveling with a water bucket, and you're not allowed to have a water bucket in security. Right, I'll keep hold of this for now, I think. But you have to yeah. stay hydrated. Well, you're not allowed to bring water through security, so oh, okay. thanks for taking that book down. Okay, let me grab the luggage. Okay, if you just pass through security, we don't want to hear a ding right now. So um, if you hear a ding, you could just step to the left hand side. And if not, just carry straight on. Well, you took my water, so I don't really see what could be the issue. So sure. What? Oh, oh what's that mean? Oh, what's, that right. mean? what's that mean? I think so if you bad. step to the left, please, the stinky alarm's gone left. off. What do you mean? To the Step left, to the left. All the way. All the way. All the way in the corner. It's a stinky alarm. Corner. Please get in the corner. Okay. 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 Right. Let's just clean this off. Yeah. What is this? What are you doing? If you doing? could just stand there for a second, please. Yeah. Thirty seconds, please. In the Guys, things. I, I'm finding it a little bit hard to breathe, and I think my passport's getting wet. My coupons. No, my you're coupons. You gonna stay down there, please? Ah, please. Stay down there. Okay, that's, All right. That's that enough. should be good. There we go. Okay. Jeez. All right, and now you're oh. free to visit the island. Welcome. Oh, okay. Uh, can I just make sure I have... Oh my gosh, that was really stressful. Hold on, I gotta stress eat something. Okay, welcome to the island. Wow. This is an airport. I can't really... 
see much of anything. Yeah, we're gonna go this way. I'm gonna lead you to your uh, sort of sea hopper plane. Uh, you, you and Froggy sure? can hop in and you can be on your way. Are you guys sure that person on the billboard doesn't look familiar? Yeah, I mean, I've never seen them before in my life. Huh. It's a model that I hired for the casting, you know? They're a very good looking model, I must say. They, they are very pretty. Right, well, uh, here's your aircraft. I'll let you two be on your way and uh, enjoy your visit. And um, thanks. yeah, see you again sometime. Okay, bye guys. You didn't say thanks for flying blocky airlines. Oh, thanks for flying blocky airlines. I'm a loser. loser. Yeah, no, I'm so sorry. There's, he, he, made okay. me, he made me take your water. I'm so sorry. He smells bad too. Yeah, he does.